This mobile food truck at Sandtown Park in St. George is one of two that reaches out in Washington County to feed children each weekday during the summer months. At this park, we're averaging around 60 to 75 kids a day to come to this, uh, to this park to eat. Uh, as of July 1st, the schools are not going to be feeding them for the rest of the summer, so it will probably pick up because the schools are not going to be feeding them. Those in need can drop by and receive a free sack lunch with fresh fruits and veggies when available. We also give out chocolate milk or vanilla milk. And like I said, we also bring out whenever we get um, from Santa Clara Garden, we bring the vegetables and we get fruit here. And if we get some chips or canned goods, we just provide um, extra stuff for the families. The summer feeding program is just one of several that Southern Utah Food Bank manager Linda Trujillo implemented in her 28 years. She was also instrumental in creating after-school programs where students and their families can pick up food to take home. And during the COVID pandemic, she and her staff and volunteers opened up giveaways of food boxes at some Washington County school parking lots. So that was amazing. You know, it was good and our services are there. Our services will stay there. And that's what's nice. So yes, COVID was bad, but it was an opportunity to help people even more than we had. While Linda is well known in the community for her dedication for feeding those in need, now after 28 years of service, she's retiring. Oh my gosh, 28 years. Uh, it's been a long time. It's bittersweet, but it'll be great. It'll be nice. It'll be nice to have some more time with my family. It'll be nice to see which way the food bank goes now because I know they're just going to, with the current staff that we've had for a long time and new people coming in, I just think it'll be awesome what they're going to be able to do. There's a need in the park. There's a need that the community is just in awe right now because we're going to lose Linda. She just knows so much and we will miss her and love her. It was really an easy sell for me to stay at the food bank and to want to work there, to want to help people. And you know, you see the kids, you see the people, are, people are so appreciative. There's so many people that are so proud or you don't know they need help. And so this has just been really my pleasure to do. But her caring legacy of giving will carry on in the community amongst the volunteers who are grateful to pay it forward. Well, there were several years when we came to the park to take advantage of the program because we needed its help. And we discovered this year that we were in a position to volunteer. So I grabbed my two children and we decided to use our time on Wednesdays to volunteer and help out. Trujillo was humbled by a billboard that the city put up in honor of her service. Imagine running around a corner and all of a sudden seeing yourself on, on a billboard. <laughs> Thank you, 28 years. It was awesome. It was so amazing. I loved it. But most of all, Linda is thankful for the many dedicated volunteers and staff and the giving community, which continues to make it all happen. Thank you. Thank you to this community that's embraced us, that has welcomed us, and to a staff that's been amazing. Thank you. Trujillo says she plans to focus on her health, hang out with her grandchildren and children, and above all, relax. Uh, well, we're not going to go fishing. We'll sit by a pool. <laughs> with room service. <laughs> but her husband, Bill, who can always be seen right by her side, has plans for them to do something else. We're going to dance until they close the place down. <laughs> like in the old days. Like in the old days. So here's to a well-deserved happy retirement for a woman who has shared so much with so many. Bye. Bye. <laughs> From Sandtown Park, Melissa Anderson Community Education News.